Okay, my friends. This evening we're going to continue on studying the right hand. Much more important than the stance or the feet or the kisser and all this kind of stuff. Going to let the right hand float. When I say float, I mean it's just sitting on my thumb and I can move it around to wherever I have to. Just let it float. Okay, so here we have a uh, an arrow without a feather, but what I'm trying to show you is when I bring it back. I'm putting my thumb right where my jaw and my ear and my throat join, right here in that spot. And when I'm doing that, I can adjust the arrow. You see how I can move the arrow? Now, if I, I'm not going to touch my face, I'm just anchoring on my thumb and I'm allowing that arrow to line up visually. And when it lines up perfectly, I simply relax my hand. It's as simple as that. So I'm just saying I allow it to float. Uh, if we do that, you see that we can get nice little groups. Quite consistent. That's all you have to do. Put your thumb on the occipital bone where your thumb and your ear and your neck all join. Anyhow, guys, have a good night. Hope you learned something. Good night now.